Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my office in the RV and uh, I'm starting something new. I'm going to try video blogging. I look back at some of my written blogs and I'm like, you know what, I'm really not a very good writer. And so I decided I'm going to try this venue. And we're really excited because just recently we've been able to really evaluate uh, what it is that we feel called to do as a family. And we really feel that our mission is to inspire, empower, and mobilize people to put their faith in action. You know, so many of us, we can hear a great message, uh, an inspirational message, we can read a great book, but if that's all the further that it gets, if we never put our faith in action, then we're missing out on so much. And so when we go and share at schools or churches or wherever we go, we want to give people the opportunity to actually get mobilized, to get out and see how impactful it can be when you actually put your faith in action. So we're excited about that new mission and I'm excited about doing this video blog series because what I want to do is I want to give you guys some behind the scenes of what kind of happens with RV life, how we live our life on a daily basis, whether we're homeschooling or pulling into a place or sharing at a location or whatever it is, we're excited about that. But just also it's just an easier for, way for me to be able to communicate with you guys. And I do want to do some quick housekeeping here. Uh, what happened is we were up in Pennsylvania last time uh, I wrote to you guys via the, the written blog and uh, we really want to thank Mont Blanc or Mont Blanc <laughs> Mont Lawn Camp and Retreat Center and it got really cold up there they were so uh, good to us to give us power and electricity and on the way down we stopped at Hillside Baptist Church we were able to share with them with their, their Sunday school classes and they were so cool to even give us 50 amp hookups so we were blown away by that and then we spent a week in DC and got to kind of walk around the White House and go down to the Capitol and see that and that was cool. We actually got to go down on the House of Representatives floor uh, thanks to a police officer who works in the Capitol who was able to take us down there. So we were pretty pumped by that. And uh, now here we are. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina and uh, we are hosted by some great folks named uh, Don and Cindy Truex. I'm going to introduce you to them later. Great couple, great family, incredible story. And we're going to be sharing with their young people Sunday, November 22nd at 6 o'clock, at 6.30. And also in the Sunday morning services at, or actually in the Sunday morning Sunday school class at 11 a.m. So if you live in this area, we'd love to have you come join us and just hear our story. Um, but we have been blown away by the people here at Matthews United Methodist Church in Charlotte. I mean, they have been so good to us. They're letting this park here. We've got power. We've got water. Um, just the other day, a guy who owns a company, Dr. Detail, came out and washed the whole RV, washed our car. So we're so thankful for that and grateful for that. But one of the other things that I'm really excited about is for you guys to be able to meet these incredible people, these heroes of the faith who day in and day out serve relentlessly without any recognition. I want to take and shine the spotlight on these people and one of these people that you're gonna meet and I did a story on the other day I spent a few hours with this lady her name is Joy McGuire so Wednesday of this coming week we have the opportunity to go help put together some meals for some Thanksgiving meals for the homeless we're gonna go out to a few different hotels and and just share these meals with homeless folks and you have the opportunity if you live in this area to come join us and get that experience and to be able to really see how blessed you really are. And then there's also a couple trailer parks that we're going to go to and deliver meals to. And then Saturday of this next week, Saturday after Thanksgiving, we're going to go help Joy. She's got an incredible story. She's been in prison. She's been on the streets. She's been an alcoholic. And God has totally redeemed and, and uh, restored her life. And now she ministers to the very people that she once was. And uh, so I'm excited to share her story with it. I'm excited to do these video blogs. And uh, we're going to try to do these as often as we can to kind of keep you up to date on our journey. And uh, we're excited to be able to see how many people get mobilized as we go into a community. And we want to bring people together and not just hear a great message or not just hear an inspirational story. But our passion and our mission is that people would truly put their faith in action. I look forward to speaking to you again. And thanks for your attention this time.